In this video, I am going to show you how to make a gradebook template in Google Sheets. So if you want to create your own gradebook template that you can edit to track the grades of different students in your own spreadsheet, this can be done very easily in Google Sheets. So that is what I will go through. And this entire thing should just take a few minutes once you get comfortable with the process. So. The first thing that I'm going to do is open my spreadsheet and in my gradebook template, I want to do a little bit of formatting. I like to have um, grid lines because I think it makes it easier to read. So I'm just going to highlight some cells for my gradebook template. And then what I'm going to do is um, in this top toolbar, I'm going to select this borders tool and select all borders. And this is going to add grid lines because I think um, this makes it easier to read for me and I like this personally. So the next thing I need to do is start laying out my gradebook template and I'm going to do some different formatting just to make things a little bit more clear. I'm going to highlight these first three columns in the second row and I'm going to turn this a blue color with this fill fill color tool. Um, then what I'm going to do is highlight some of these additional uh, cells and I'm going to change them to this light orange color. Next what I'm going to do is start labeling my columns. So this is student name and then we have total percentage and then this is where I'm going to put in the points that each student has scored. So I have points. And then this is where you can add in your different assignments. So maybe there's a few assignments. And then maybe we have a few quizzes that is included in their score. Do three quizzes and then we will do two tests. And I'll highlight this and make this all bold text and I want it centered so I'll do that. So I have the basic template now that I can fill out to begin calculating the grades for each student. So I'll just use placeholder student names. This is where you would put in their real name. So I'll do nine students. Then what I want to do is label this. So this is going to be points possible. So for each of these assignments, quizzes, and tests, what I want to do at the very top is put in the total points that were possible on that assignment. So I'm gonna do a few numbers here. I will center this as well just to make it look more uniform. So this is the total points possible on each of these assignments. Then what you would do now is you would begin to fill in what each student scored on each of these assignments. So I'm just going to fill this out quickly just for the sake of this video. I will just put in a few fake numbers here. So this is what each student scored out of the total points possible on each of these assignments. So that is what this is. Now I really have most of the work done here. This is my template. All I need to do now is put in a few formulas to actually calculate the percentage that each student scored out of the total points possible. So what we're going to do first is sum up the total points possible. So I'm gonna go in this cell, equals sum, I'm going to press tab on my keyboard and then I'm going to sum up the total points possible from each assignment. Now if you want to keep this open ended where you want to add additional assignments as you assign them, you might want to extend this formula out additional rows. So maybe I'll just go out 
to um, Q1 instead of ending in L here in case I'm adding additional assignments throughout the year and I just want to add them as I go and have them already included in my formula. So I will do that. And I'm going to center this. So now once I have my total points possible formula, all I'm going to do is copy this and paste it down these additional rows. It's going to copy the formula down so that I now have the total points possible for each or the total points that each student scored. So this is now calculating the total points that each student scored and this is the total points possible. So I t if I take this divided by this, this would be the percentage that each student scored. So that is what I will do in this column. So equals this divided by the total points possible. And what I want to do here is press F4 on my keyboard. What this will do is put these dollar signs around here, which will basically lock this cell reference in place. So once I copy this and paste it down, you can see it's staying in this cell C1, which is what I want. That's what these dollar signs do here is it locks the cell reference so that no matter where my formula is, it is still referring to this total points possible here. So then the last thing I wanna do is actually turn this into a percentage instead of a decimal. So I'm going to highlight this and format as percent. And maybe I wanna remove some decimal places and I will just do that with this decrease decimal places option in the toolbar. And so now I have my formula showing what percent each student scored out of the total points possible, which would then um, end up being their grade or, or how their grade was calculated. And this is the gradebook template. Um, as you can see, it's very easy to set up. It didn't take very long. And there's just a few formulas that we had to add in to create this gradebook template. And that is it for this video. Um, so hopefully you found this useful. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.